So, I would like to take the, this time just to go over what's happening here. Um, so here, here is my we my relay switch. So, the AC 120 volt 15 amp hot or live line comes through and it enters the common line of the relay switch. The normally closed line is where it comes out. And then it enters the rectifier and then the caps and so it becomes DC here. Now, in the event of over voltage where this MOSFET fails, we'll have too much voltage coming through this line. And that will cause a situation where this voltage divider will send through this line a fraction of that, which will, based on these resistors, we can make it to where when it's an over voltage situation, this will send five volts of that over voltage. So a small percentage of it will come through this red line all the way back to here. And it will become the five volt gate signal that will activate the relay to switch it from the normally closed line feeding the circuit into the normally open line, which will short the circuit, bringing the live hot through here and then into the normally open, shorting the circuit, which will cause a tremendous amount of amps to flow, which will pop this 10 amp breaker or this 10 amp fuse right here, which will then make my whole system completely shut off. So it's a safety feature to handle the event that this MOSFET fails and it shorts to open or the PWM signal being sent to it isn't being responsive or, or responsible and it's causing an over voltage which could then become dangerous. Um, so basically the way a relay works it's actually really simple. You have your switching mechanism so whether that's your Arduino or in my case your over voltage voltage divider rising to a certain point that will send a signal into input one this is input one that's going to be a five volt sim signal and then this is your ground input two that will come back to your power source okay when 5 volt comes in to the coil and out through ground, it completes a circuit. And that circuit traps electromagnetic field in this coil. And the electromagnetic field creates magnetism. That magnetism pulls this switch, which is normally on not closed, or normally closed. NC stands for normally closed. The switch is normally on there. There's probably a spring on the switch, keeping it face to the left. When this coil has power running through it, it, it creates a magnetic pull on this switch, which is off to the left, forcing it to the right and to normally open state. So when you put a current through the coil, the switch goes from normally closed to normally open because the the magnet pulls the switch to the right. Um, this magnet is called an inductor coil. An inductor coil is just copper wire wound into um, many, many windings. Let's say six to ten windings it could be. It could be a lot more. It just depends on the design of the coil. And then through the center of it will usually be a, a ferrite core, which is like a, a, a heavy metal core that's designed to concentrate the magnetic field and increase the inductance of your inductor. So it creates a more powerful magnetic field. It amplifies it. And it's basically just trapping more magnetic field in that coil by preventing the magnetic field from leaking out of the coil. It's just trapping it in there really well. 
Um, the tightness of the wraps of the coil also can trap more magnetic field in the coil. The coil is basically an electrical resistor. It prevents current from throwing from from flowing through it, which causes that that jumbled up electrical current to kind of bounce off each other and just kind of start growing and creating this like hurricane effect of growing magnetism. And that effect has a magnetic force which pulls the switch it pulls the switch shut. Um, even though <laughs> the normally closed state is when the switch is open the normally open stays when the switch is closed. The naming is pretty poor in my opinion. But that's okay. Just remember normally closed is the state of the switch when there is not a signal being put through the relay. And normally open is the state of the switch when there is a current being put into the relay. Now a note, another note on relays is relays are superior to MOSFETs very rarely or transistors very rarely um, but they are definitely superior when it comes to switching of AC current. AC current relay. DC current MOSFETs. MOSFETs are king for DC but relays can be used for DC. DC. I'm just pretty sure you'd have to double check me on this. I'm pretty sure that MOSFETs or transistors do not work on AC for whatever reason um, but relays do work for AC also relays I believe are advantageous for really really high voltage high amp situations that MOSFETs would not handle but MOSFETs slash transistors are king for high speed DC switching and they last much longer so they, there's a lot of advantages to using MOSFETs relays are very rarely used. They're kind of like old school, but um, well, I should say they're, rare, they're rarely used in the context of like high-speed control mechanisms in robotics or something like that. Um, Okay, so I just explained my over voltage protection circuit and I explained how a relay works and why I had to use a relay. Relay is known to be less reliable. Yeah, it is less reliable because um, it's got moving parts and it doesn't last as long. But in this application, it's actually better because. Uh, or it's actually less of an issue that it's so unreliable because it's not like this is going to be used over and over and over. It kind of has like a, a duty cycle, not duty cycle, it kind of has like a total number of times it can turn on and off before it just fails. But this relay would only be triggered in an over voltage situation which may never happen in the lifetime of the product. But in the event of that happening, something going horribly wrong a failure of a MOSFET, you're not going to have somebody getting electrocuted. So this relay would only actually trigger in an emergency. And so for something that's that might trigger three times over ten years, a relay is perfect for that. You don't need to have a, a more resilient MOSFET for that. And like I said, a MOSFET would not even work to short out AC. And this is AC voltage, so 